Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. So it's post day. We've got a new package to look at. Here we go. This fairly big package arrived from China. Really well packed by the look of it. So why not join me now down on the mat and we'll unpack this together, see what's in it. Assuming it's a pen, I'll ink it up, do a writing sample and give you my initial first impressions. So here we are down on the mat and it's time to get into the unboxing. We'll quickly open up the package. It's really well sealed. So after that battle, here we have the box. This is a Moon Man pen. So here we are, we've got Moon Man coming down the box. We've got Moon Man, feel the temperature of writing. On the side here, we've got what's, what it looks like a drawer with a nice red handle. Nothing on the bottom, nothing behind it or on either end. So let's open this drawer, let's see what we've got. So it pulls out nice and easily and it reveals this glorious Moon Man P135. I ordered this about five weeks ago, so it took about five weeks to arrive. It's really well packaged. I mean, just look at this box. I'm just putting the pen to one side. I don't think this base comes out. I don't think there's anything else in there. But like everything with Moon Man, every time I've got it coming in a box, it's so well packaged. Such a delight to see. We'll put that to one side and then let's look at the pen in more detail. So let's take it out of the plastic sleeve to reveal this glorious pen. I mean, look at this, look at the detail on here. On the cap, we've got what, look, what looks like, I don't know how best to describe it. Maybe it's a pearl or meant to be a pearl. It comes down then into this glorious silver coloring. Just look at that. So from there, we're coming down into this. I mean, it's so nice as this silver, silver cap here. Just look at the engraving on it. It's really nice and detailed. The clip, not too stiff, but saying that I'm struggling to pull it out. So it's something to be aware of. The cap comes down, we've got a couple of grey bands coming around here and then it comes into the main body. There's very little step down, which is something which is really nice to see because one of the things I really don't like is when there's a big step down. Then this comes into this, well, like a dark burgundy type barrel. Just look at the body here. It's a lovely colour, lovely and dark. And then we come to the end where we've got again this silver end rounded off just so that it balances out the whole thing. It really is a gorgeous pen to look at. So let's unscrew the cap and take a look at the nib. So the nib, not the largest around, you know, it's a fairly small nib. This is what they marketed as a small bent nib. So I'll be interested to try this out. I do have a similar nib on another pen but it'd be nice to try it out on this one just to see what differences there are. The section, so we've got a silver band here where the nib ends. And the section, well, it carries on the color from the body of the pen here. Again, we're going down to another silver band. And screwing it, well, that reveals this. So we've just got that standard Moon Man cartridge converter in there. Really works well on my other Moon Man pens. So. Hopefully, no problems to come with that. Let's just put this back together and let's have a look in comparison to some other pens just to get an idea for the size. So here we go. There's this Moon Man P135. I'm going to fetch in a Pilot Metropolitan. They're roughly the same size by the look of it. And then I'll also fetch in here, which is a Twisby Eco. The Twisby Eco, definitely broader 
Definitely a little bit longer, but doesn't matter because we're looking at the P135, not the Twisby Eco. Taking off the caps. So we can compare the nibs on these. Well, the nib size, again, I think they're very much the same. I can't see too much of a difference from here. Uh, so I'm thinking it's a number five style nib. Let's put these all away. And we'll look at the ink that I'm going to be using. So the ink today is this one. It's from Colorverse and it's Dark Energy. Now, I try to pick my inks before I open the pen. So I have to base it on what I can see from photos. On this one, it doesn't look too bad. Looks very similar. So I think this is going to be a good match for this pen, but we're going to give it a try. I like to try lots of different inks when I'm first trying out my pen for over that first few weeks, just to make sure and see which ones really work well in it. So let's fetch in the ink and let's ink it up. Here we go. This is a present that my wife got me because she was fed up with my ink samples going all over. She got this from the local thrift shop and we've just got something in there just to hold that sample bottle. So with a pen, we go one, one and a quarter, one and a half times to take that cap off. So not too bad. So unscrew the body again. Let's take the lid off this ink. I mean, one of the reasons we've got this here now is I kept on complaining about how easy I felt that these sample vials were to fall over. So hopefully it's going to be a bit more stable. So let's expel the air, dip it in. And there's just one fill. I'm just going to do it the once because as I say, I want to try a lot of different inks with this. So we've got about half of the converter fill there, which is quite good. It's popping it back together again. Put the lid on that ink. And now it's time to fetch in the notepad so we can do our writing sample. So here we go. Again, I'm capping it nicely. And we have here a Moon Man. P135. And this has got the small bent nib. Now on the advert, it said it was 0.58. The ink, colorverse. Dark energy. I love the colorverse inks. I love the way that they name them. You know, it, it really makes them feel different. So let's look at our drying times. So here we go. This is immediate. So it's not an overly dry ink, but it's also not overly wet. I'm now going to leave it for 10 seconds. Thirty seconds. Still got some a bit of wetness in there, isn't there? So let's leave it now for one minute. And after a minute, yep, yeah, that's nice and dry now. You know, I've, I've wiped over it a few times to get a little bit to come off. My hands are fairly sweaty because it's a very hot day today here in Perth. So there's a lot of sweat on my hands. So after a minute, yep, yeah, it's nice and dry. So I'm going to now do another writing sample. This time I'm going to move the microphone so it's close to the paper so you can hear me writing. It's a nice writer, nice and smooth. I'm not getting a lot of feedback coming from it, so that's something I'll have to get used to because I do like a little bit of feedback in my pens. Now, as I said, this has got this bent nib, and the idea of this apparently is, depending on how you hold a pen, 
you should get a different line width. So if I hold it up straight, you know, we get a fairly wide line. How I would normally hold it and then holding it low down. So again, this is something I'm going to have to play with to get used to, to see how to get this line variation from it. Let's take a quick look at the writing. Well, just look at the shading coming through in this. I and mean, isn't that really nice to see? It's coming through really well. The paper that I'm using today is made by Oxford and it's the optic paper. If I have a quick look over the page, you know, there's nothing coming through. There's, which is again, nice to see, but it's a fairly fine nib. Fetching that pen in, let's have another quick look at it, see how it looks there. I mean, it's a beautiful looking pen, really is. I love this scroll work. You know, the way it's, I don't know if it's engraved or stamped. The cap itself, well, it's got a fair bit of weight to it. You know, you know you're holding it. If we take a quick look inside, I can't see any cap liner. So certainly in the heat in Perth at the moment, I'll have to keep an eye on that for the nib drying out. You know, it's just a gorgeous looking pen. I paid about 45 Aussie dollars for this pen. I think it's worth it on my first impression. I mean, it writes really well. It looks nice. It's got a good feel in the hand. When I'm holding it to write, I'm quite happy to hold that unposted. Does the pen post? Yes, it does. And I've got to be honest, it doesn't seem to add too much to the weight. So it's something I think I could quite happily carry on writing with. You know, let's just do a few. You know, that ink, it just, just comes out really nice. Just with a really light touch, you know. I aren't really pressing on the pen, I'm just letting it sit in the in my hand. It's still writing nicely. So yeah, really nice pen there. Looking forward to trying this out. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a like, hit that thumbs up button, let people know that you like the video. Have you got this Moon Man P135? Have you got this ink? Why not drop a comment below? What are your thoughts on this pen? What are your thoughts on this ink? Do you have any inks that you could recommend? It's worth me to try in it. I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to kickstart that conversation. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.